we've talked a, a fair amount about radio surgery, stereotactic radio surgery, and specifically about the gamma knife. So I thought today we could kind of go over what the patient can expect during a treatment. So this is kind of from the patient's perspective as opposed to the doctor's perspective. Uh, generally speaking, the patient arrives in the hospital fairly early in the morning. Because the, the procedure is done with some sedation, you usually ask the patient not to have anything to eat after midnight the night before. In addition, uh, prior to the procedure, we do a, a medical clearance. That's just a regular physical exam and some blood work. Uh, again, just to make sure that there are no dangers to using the sedation during the procedure. At any rate, upon arrival, the first thing that's done is the head frame is put on. And the positioning of the head frame is really important because the idea is to get the frame right over the middle of the lesion, wherever that happens to be, whether it's in the front of the head or the side of the head or the back of the head. We, we like to have the head frame centered in that area because that's where the majority of the beams are going to be most accurate and the procedure can be most easily tailored to the exact pathology. So the way the, the head frame is positioned is that four areas are cleansed and then a local anesthesia is injected into each of those four sites. After a few minutes when the local has had the opportunity to take effect and the skin is numb, then screws are placed through the head frame and into the skin as far as the skull itself. So the screws actually take purchase onto the skull, but because of the anesthesia, about the only thing the patient should feel is some pressure as opposed to the kind of pain that you would feel if somebody put a screw into your skull. Once the head frame is in position, a very high resolution MR scan or a CAT scan is performed. And what do I mean by high resolution? I mean that the cuts are very close together. Generally speaking, when a scan is done for routine screening procedure, the cuts may be seven millimeters or five millimeters or even a centimeter apart which means that there's a lot of space in between the slices which is extrapolated as opposed to actually visualized. But because we need to visualize everything to very fine detail, uh, we do the cuts actually overlapping and very thin slices. That takes about a half hour to three quarters of an hour. At that point, the patient is put into a, a holding area, still with the head frame on, and made comfortable with sedation or sometimes actually acupuncture can be used to relax the patient and make the procedure a little easier because the head frame, although it's not really pain, it's kind of cumbersome and a lot of people complain of uh, neck discomfort. During this period of time, there is a meeting between the neurosurgeon, the neuroradiologist, and the radiation oncologist and radiation physicist. The lesion or lesions are identified and equally important surrounding important structures which are to be avoided, whether they be neural structures or vascular structures, are also identified. So we know what we need to hit, but we also need to know what we have to stay away from. And at that point, a dose plan is created by the computer to tell the gamma knife exactly where to put the shots of radiation. And remember we discussed before, a shot of radiation is really described by those 201 beams that are coming together at a point. And that point can be anywhere from a half a centimeter in size to much larger than that. But the idea here is to have enough shots of radiation to completely cover the geometry of the lesion without overlapping and without extending beyond the lesion. Once the dose plan has been generated, then the patient actually goes to the gamma knife. And the head frame is covered with a helmet, and the patient is on a bed which slides in and out of the device, which I like to refer to as a pizza oven. The device, the pizza oven, is where the radiation sources are located. So they are constantly active. The patient then goes in or out as the Head, the helmet is readjusted to 
put the shots of radiation exactly where they need to be. Now, a shot may take a few minutes or it may take several minutes to do, depending on the size of the shot, uh, the amount of energy which is to be delivered, the age of the radioactive seeds, and so on. After all shots have been delivered, the patient goes back to the holding area, the head frame is taken off, band-aids are placed over the puncture sites, and the patient's observed for a few hours and then allowed to go home. This is as close to drive-through neurosurgery as you can get.